Hello, let's talk about internal networks a bit. An internal network is completely isolated from the outside world. Host, meaning your physical computer or laptop, cannot see the virtual machines configured in an internal network, meaning your host cannot ping or communicate in any manner with those virtual machines. Also, these virtual machines do not have any internet access. Now, to enable communication between virtual machines participating in an internal network, you will need to set up a DHCP server using the VBox Manage utility. VBox Manage is a command line utility which is shipped with the virtual uh, box GUI. So, let's see. So, first, we we'll need to assign our virtual machines to an internal network. So, we need to go to our virtual box manager, right click. Click on settings, we need to go to network, choose internal network and then choose the default or we can create our own internal network. So, I have created my own internal network and in order to change it, I can call it test lab 2, click ok. I can also right click here on the second virtual machine, I can go to network close internal network and I can go test lab 2 click ok now when I power these virtual machines on they will be part of an internal network called test lab 2 but to enable communication between these virtual machines I need to go to virtual uh, my command prompt and configure the DHCP server for these so First thing, you need to go to wherever your uh, virtual, uh, virtual box is installed, right click, copy address as text. After this, you need to open your command prompt and you need to cd, which means change directory into that location. So now I'm in that location. Now what I need to do is, I need to invoke the vbox manage utility which is this one this utility utility so because i'm in this box uh, sorry i'm in this directory already i can use the command vbox manage and i can enter to see all the options available these are all the options available under VBox. And what I need to do is, I need to invoke the DHCP server option. To do, to do this, I need to see I need to type in DHCP servers. So under DHCP server, I've got two options, add and remove. Now, to list all the DHCP servers configured in my network, I can also type in vbox manage list DHCP servers. And this is going to give me the DHCP servers configured in my network. So these two are host only adapters. This is the one I created for my uh, internal network called test lab. So if you go here, you go to network, you can see I've got two internal networks, test lab and the one I just created for the purpose of the, this video, test lab 2. So going back, we need to now add a DHCP server for our test lab 2 network. So we'll go vbox manage DHCP server. So because we are adding, we'll go add. Now next command this is telling me is minus minus net name. So we can say we can give it a name and this name should be the same name that we gave um, to the network that when we assigned it to our virtual machines. So test lab 2 
now we need to give an IP address to the virtual box DHCP server for this network so we'll give we'll call it IP and we'll give the IP address 3.1 and now we need to give a network mask So 255.255.255.0. Now, after providing the IP address and net mask for the DHCP server, we need to tell the system what the range for the IP address is, is that will be assigned using this DHCP server. So we can do that by typing in lower IP. And this is the lower end of the spectrum and we'll go 3.2 then upper IP see so sorry so what this means is that my DHCP server can assign IP addresses from 192.168.3.2 to 192.168.3.254 now to enable this DHCP server we need to type in dash dash enable and that's it now if I type in list DHCP servers I should be able to see my DHCP server and I am able to see it now the next step is to verify that my machines are assigned to the correct network Yep, and I can select these machines and I can start them. Now, what should happen is that once I've done this, both my machines should have an IP address from the range 192.168.3.2 to 192.168.3.254, and also they should be able to ping each other. However, my host computer should not be able to ping them and my virtual machines should not be able to communicate with the internet so no google access will be okay so we can log into these machines now now I'm going to type ifconfig and sure as I get an IP address from 192.168.3.0 um, network and I'll log into my second virtual machine. And I'll type in ifconfig on this one as well. Yep. And I've got an IP address on this one from the same network as well. Now let's see if these virtual machines can ping each other. So I can ping from virtual machine 2 to virtual machine 3. Let's see if the other one can ping. Yep. So this establishes the communication between these two virtual machines. Let's see now if they can ping internet. Yep, not reachable. So for those who don't know, um, 8.8.8 .8 is a publicly accessible IP address on the internet that is generally used for testing. Now let's see the IP address on my host computer. So I have an IP address of 1.161 on my Wi-Fi adapter. So let's see if I can ping my host computer or not. So I can't ping my host computer from 
any of these virtual machines. So now we can establish that these virtual machines are completely isolated from the outside world, meaning the host computer cannot ping or communicate with um, the virtual machines in an internal network and there is no internet access. That completes this video. Um, thank you and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.